ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com Again jambo and welcome to I lost the count but today we are going episode number that one I think 5 hmm 2 or 3 of the reporting series today we are going to look at how to use the word layout so right click on the board click new file um we are at 1 or 2 1 or 2 um customer let me say i want to send it customer monthly report okay maybe our business monthly report we want to be sending this to our customers but uh, the name is too long business uh business report let me just say the business report we want to use a word layout so that we can be sending it to our customers periodically or uh, every month uh, it means we'll have to create an email function but not in this episode it's out of scope business uh report so i'm sending it to our business report how we have performed but we wanted to customize it to a customer to give them maybe their name <clears throat> and all that using the uh nini word layout so we'll change the user category to report and analysis and uh, say the default rdlc default layout will be rdlc because we don't want to use the rendering now or uh, rdlc then the r okay i'm used to rdlc the default will be word and then the word layout will be again in the layouts we'll have business report dot docs so this is how you specify the word layout the uh the file type is docs so you say the business layout dot docs so it is showing me some squiggly red lines because of this rendering i don't need all these from all here everything that is here will be removed let me just move up uh, this request page and all that maximize this reduce it a little bit so that you can see everything in a clearer easy view so it is to a customer we have already said to a customer the data item is a customer and the column first column is the number i don't know if we'll need the number when we are sending the report uh, but that that will be the first column customer number and then the second column will be uh, the name of the customer we could use the customer number or maybe the phone number and email let's see let's just add one two three and four we have email so the other one will be the name the customer name which is uh, just a name i'm clicking control new here instead of shift name then we'll have the customer phone phone number or phone which will be the phone number on this side it's just the phone number then the customer email will be the email for the customer where is it email email so there we are we just need to build and it will generate our layout and layouts <coughs> business report dot docs so control shift b and again i have done my own things here control shift a i'm doing control shift n control shift b we build create our package in our layout here business report we also right click and open externally so here is our layout blank there is nothing 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 there so you we need to use the developer pen here so if it's not displayed in your 
uh, application go to file then options uh, should be options then uh, go to customize ribbon and then you need to add the developer pen here it should be added so you search for it and you add it we need to use it so the template that i want to use is already developed by maybe one of my designers in the company they have given me this template that they want it to be really good and send it to customers and the word template is good while sending emails because uh it is faster uh, because the rdl layouts have some security restrictions like it, they need to go through a lot of security checks because of the format of the layout but for word it is just straightforward it is sent very fast while sending an email so when we go to the developer pen on the uh, this ribbon you click on the developer and click on xml uh, mapping pen and then change this option to this so i have mapped this particular document uh, I've just copy pasted to our business report layout and then I will say now the document title I change maybe it to and then I want to address it to a customer type name this is not the best way of doing anything but to <laughs> customer name oh, I believe we need to insert a text box where that particular item will be stored oh where is my text box so we insert a text box here and then in the text box we want to drop the customer name here why is this template of mine not responding okay let me just map this insert as a plain text yeah there it is so i need to insert it from this side not to drag and drop like in the rdlc so that's okay so we have inserted the customer name so this customer name will be dynamic so to that particular customer name then uh i will come here in my name <laughs> hey, i don't know so we'll call it maybe okay tech namsang any tech namsang that is my name okay maybe it's from tech namsangi but ideally here we want uh to maybe create another text box uh from tech namsangi uh who who let's just find something funny funny here and add another thing like here in the report title we could uh, click on the number and uh, insert as a plain text and then so the report title will be the customer no and then the subtitle we just right click insert as a plain text this is just for demonstration and then finally maybe a particular heading one somewhere uh we don't have in even okay let's just get another let's just insert okay we don't need the email for now because we'll they'll know that this is the the recipient and all that let's make it simple stupid and i'll save the report and um, now we are done with the design that is how easy it is to design using the word layout as long as you have the layout <laughs> you just map using the xml mapping pen to the different text boxes you select and right click insert as plain text and then you can run your application but before i run the application i wanted this report to be filtered to um to a customer card so i have created this extension on the customer card so business report i want the action to be business report uh, i've added an extension to the customer card to open the business report so our business report maybe we create it and then we want to send it to the customer this is the customer we have found this particular customer and we want now to run a report and it's our custom report so we'll call it report dot report dot run and then the name will be come on it'll be report of now business report the request page should be true that is usually the second option and then not it should not print automatically but again 
it should filter to that particular customer then we close this so when you open the customer card this is that is when we'll be able to see uh, this particular uh, layout i hope it works well so i will just go straight to run it boom, boom, boom. so let's wait for it to open and then we will log in we will log in here and uh, we open one particular customer let's say this customer we view the customer uh, so we'll find our business report here under related so we want to open the business report and preview it and let's see what we have done with our word layout <laughs> yes there we are so two sports furnishing maybe i didn't format it well because this <laughs> it's not having a bold this text box from tech namsangi and then where is the customer number oh my goodness one of the most horrible reports this customer didn't have a customer and all that but this is how we can be able to easily and fastly create a word report layout and you see you get a beautiful report from your word layout to um to your machine and uh, so i think that's it for the word layout reports the next uh, report or the next layout that we are going to check will be the Excel reports. So I hope you stay tuned in this next series of episodes. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.